Hello friends. So we have a big day ahead of us. I had planned to finish working on the little coffee table that we started yesterday and then doing a few more things. But when I walked outside, I was like, it is too pretty of a day to be indoors all day. So we decided to do a ton of yard work today. I, the last time I called a big yard cleanup a makeover, someone said that it's not a makeover, but you know what? I feel like this is a makeover. Our yard looks totally different than how it looked when we started. So much progress was made. So we're just calling it a backyard makeover, okay? And this is going to be a series. So this is episode one. This is the like foundation, if you will, of all of these little makeovers we're going to be doing outdoors y'all have been highly requesting that we do uh, a lot of outdoor projects and i am so here for it so i'll talk to y'all a little bit later in person um about like the type of projects i want to do out here we also got a uh, deck stain in the mail so we're gonna be doing that on the deck we still got to finish half of it and then like replace these um beams if you will that are the post you know that are going down we gotta replace those too anyways i'm so glad you're here i normally play a lot of acoustic easy to listen to music but today we're really getting a lot of stuff done and i wanted this music to motivate y'all to get up and clean along with me if you want to or you might be watching this for five minutes and then find yourself outside too so i have got a lot of upbeat music in today's video but um that is only because this video is fast paced so i wanted the music to kind of go along with the action involved so i am just starting with this little grabber that i got from dollar tree and i'm picking up Every piece of trash, piece of plastic, anything that did not come from nature is leaving the ground and either being recycled, put in a pile for scrap metal, or is being thrown in the trash. So, Aaron also helped. Um, he weed it, and we got a lot of things cleared out um, that we had, like carpet, mattresses, stuff like that, that we pulled out from the house. And we put that onto the trailer. So, yeah, can't wait for y'all to see what the yard ends up looking like just after going in for a few hours and picking up all of this garbage. <laughs> okay, well, let's turn on the music. Alright y'all, so I did want to mention that I don't have an excuse for why we let our yard go like this in certain areas, but I do have a few things that I want to share, but regardless, we're going to get cleaned up anyways. So don't feel bad if your yard or your bedroom or your kitchen or whatever it is your car gets to a point of like, wow, this is a lot. Don't feel bad about it, but especially if you are taking action now and getting it taken care of. There's no reason to go back and like feel bad. So getting that out of the way, okay? And maybe that's just me and I just needed to tell myself that and that would be fine if it was. Um, but when Aaron quit his job for health reasons, um, 
uh, the yard kind of went too. Another thing is our weed eater works, but our lawnmower, lawnmowers, we have multiples, um, he always has to like work on them and stuff to try to get them to work before he can go and mow the yard. So that's like a big deal. Um, so that was a pretty big factor. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else beside, oh, well, me. Okay. So I, uh, up until maybe uh, August of 2023, I had a lot of like codependency issues that I didn't know of. Almost even like emotions. If someone else was not happy, then I felt like I had to be unhappy too. So it wasn't until about August and September of 2023 that I started to just do things without putting much thought into it and just doing it blindly almost like even if I wasn't confident in it if I didn't think I could do it or if it was something that I usually get Aaron to do I just started doing things I was like you know what nobody's coming to save you that kind of phrase or quote that people say and that's true like no one is coming to save us it is up to us if we want something done we gotta do it um so like take an initiative i didn't do that before i was like i waited you know for permission or something not even that anybody needed i didn't need permission but it's like a mental thing for me if you've had anxiety and other mental issues then you already know what i'm talking about anyways or trauma a big part of it um now I just do stuff, okay? So that's why you kind of see a whole different side of me where I am being proactive and doing things because before I just was kind of living in limbo. So now that we're thriving over here uh, in spirit, we can just do all these things now. And so we're getting it done. Okay, I rambled a lot. <laughs> Before I forget and miss this opportunity to say this as well, because it just clicked in my head, it was like God was saying, excuse me, miss, you're forgetting a big part of this. Um, I also just realized that portion of my, my, well, a big portion of my life that has been hard for me and I have just become the victim of my own mind basically um and like had the the you know what sometimes there's things in life that cause us to become a victim and that's we don't have anything to do with that it's not our fault but it is there you can start to live in that victimhood for too long and we're not supposed to live there something bad may have happened to us and it's okay to go through the the process of healing from that but once we heal from it like we have to become our own person and do things so i also wanted to mention that i'm no longer a victim and that god um what what is is it god made me victorious see i'm like second guessing myself because i still have i'm still gaining that confidence but 1000% God has made this possible. Um, the actions, the, every every step that I've said that I'm going in blindly, it's like faith. You know, you can't see it, but you have to just trust and believe and have that faith that the next step that you take is going to put you in the right direction of where you're wanting to go and where God wants you to go. And, you know, some of the desires that we have in our heart, God places there. So don't second guess yourself. Pray about it. 
But if you feel like you're supposed to be going in a certain direction, don't fight it anymore and just go. Because God's not going to lead you in a direction that you're going to fall over. You know, like you're not going to take a step and then fall off the cliff. You're going to be on solid ground. So just keep going. One more thing I want to mention as I'm just sitting here. Um, I know that a lot of you are not able-bodied and that is okay okay um i just want you to know that if you are putting things off that you have wanted to do and you're like i wish i could do that but but my body isn't able to do it look outside yourself um there are so many people out there that would love to just help you and not get anything back from it because they're, the blessing they're receiving from being able to help you do something that you want to do that your body is no longer able to let you do that physically. Um, there's someone out there that is able-bodied and wanting to do it for you. So bless those hands and feet, you know, and allow someone to be a gift to you so that you can be a gift to them and i know there's a, a quite a few of you out there they're like i want to do this project i want to do that project i would i would go on facebook and i would say you know what this is me this is who i am but i i would like to have this done is there anyone that would help me and just just throw it out there you know and there may be someone that says yes, you know, and, you know, don't let anybody in your house, you know, maybe have a family member over somebody there, um, just, or maybe meet in public first to fill the person out to make sure they're a good, good soul. And if they are, and they do want to do it, like there's so many people that just would love to do something like that. So don't ever feel like because you're not able to do it, that they're, that it's not possible because it, all things are possible. Okay. All right. Love you. <laughs>
I was so excited to find this. It is Margaret's collar with her tag on it. The first day um, that they were able to go back outside after they got spayed, I was excited. I put their collars on them. I got their tags and I'm like, yay. Um, any of the neighbors in the mobile home park that see our cats will know that they're taken care of and they're just indoor outdoor um, because they are that is their schedule actually it's so cute because I know I'm weird y'all but I don't have real kids so I'm the crazy cat lady that talks to her pets like they're human because that's all I got okay so just let me have it <laughs> anyways um I'll like send them off this sounds so silly, but I will. I'll be like, okay, have a good day. And then when they come back in, in the evening time to eat dinner, I'm like, hi, how was your day? <laughs> and it's so cute because like they go out together and then they, as soon as it hits like 4 30, 5 o'clock, all you have to do is open the door. They're right there and they are ready to eat their dinner. Um, and then like five minutes later, they're right back at the door because they want to go back outside because it's not getting dark until like eight o'clock now. So before when they would come in at 430 or five, that was it. They weren't going back outside because my rule is you can be outside if it's warm enough and um, it's not dark. So the sun's got to be out if they're going to be out here. And um, we have our neighbor has two cats that are look just like margaret they are so cute they have that the like tabby coat the stripes and they're gray and black and one of them has like a little beige on his belly and then the other one has like white as snow like lucy on her his or her belly they're so cute their eyes are golden so and they're kind of round so whenever they're looking at me i'm like y'all look like kind of cuckoo they remind me of how owls eyes are it's like they just have crazy eyes anyways it's so funny to look at um we're making our way across to the old shed we have a new shed now so that's another reason why we had kind of stuff everywhere um which you'll see over here that there was just stuff everywhere it was because the old shed is damaged and it wasn't really worth even putting things on the inside of it so we just kind of put stuff to the side of it and then we got the new shed and aaron did not want to uh fill it up to where he couldn't actually work in it so now he has it where there's things along the sides of the wall but he's still got room in the middle to do stuff in there like he put a chair in there if he wants to and sit down and work um so one of the reasons why we're getting all this cleaned up well there's a few reasons one it just needs to be cleaned up two um we want to take this shed down and replace it with another one and then three, because I do have a new neighbor. That's my neighbor's house <laughs> with the red shutters. Um, I want our yard to look good for her, too, because she moved in. And within, like, the first week or two, she was already, like, doing yard work on her yard and making it look really nice and making it look like her own. And it just was like, I have to make my yard look good for her because her yard looks good. And I want her to have a, a, another yard to look at that looks decent, you know. Um, and our yard is huge. So we have one of the biggest yards in this mobile home park. The front yard is big and the backyard. I don't know how many acres. Maybe like one and a half if I had to guess. Because I would say the front yard plus our house is probably an acre. 
Uh, maybe half an acre. It's less than two acres for sure, but it's pretty big. Anyway, um, and her yard is pretty small. So I want our yard to look nice in case um, during the summer her kids want to like play in the backyard. They have room to do that. And there's not like stuff everywhere. <laughs> anyway, it's mostly around our shed, anyways. Um, and y'all can see I got in here. I remember telling y'all at the beginning of the video if I saw if it was not from the ground, it was coming out of the yard. So there was one white piece of whatever this is over here. I think they were window blinds of all things. Um it was a tree grew over it. Nature will just do its thing. <laughs> so I could not get that out. But Erin also wants to cut down all of these trees. Um, and I want him to cut them down too. So once we get the trees cut down, then I can get all the other stuff that has kind of had the trees grown on top of it, which is wild to me. Anyways. Okay, I'm going to quit talking now because my mouth is starting to get dry from the amount of talking I've done. It's, I've talked for six minutes straight. Somebody come help me. <laughs> Don't you want to have fun? That they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with. Make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, this won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action and distract him right now. He's fine, got Lucy on the line. Let's get this started. Where's the party tonight? Okay, so I know I shouldn't have moved this by myself. This thing was so heavy. And I realized that Aaron had put a motor on it. And that's why it was so heavy. So I moved the motor and then I was able to start kind of pushing. Um, and then I lifted from the front. And whatever was making it stuck in the back fizzled out. So then I just took a breath and then I was able to push the thing where I wanted it to go. I wanted it to go over here with the other one. I know Aaron said that we were going to um, get rid of all of them, but I still just wanted to kind of get it out of the way. That way there was more yard over here. So it looks more cleaned up, kind of like organized, <laughs> if you will. Earlier today, we had taken off the trash. Our truck was full of trash already. And even with taking that off, I still had like three of these big lawn bags full of stuff. And I had already filled up two of them that we had taken off. So five total today. And we're still not done. So at the end of this video, I tell y'all that tomorrow we will just pick up where we left off today. But 
I didn't realize that tomorrow is payday. So actually tomorrow I am going to do a grocery haul. There's probably going to be a clothing haul and all the things that I usually get at the like for well, it's the first of the month for me, if that makes sense. Um, which is a lot. And it's like my biggest grocery haul. Because I kind of like to do all my shopping in one day. And then just have the rest of the month to focus on other things that I would like to get done around the house. So that I'm not always going out. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's going to be a fun day. Especially for those of you that like shopping videos and haul videos. Because it's that day of the month where we get to do that. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all in, so give me a sign. could go for this no more tricks we could take things slow say you think about it too when the lights go out and there's no doubt that i should be with that i should be we've been on and off again and again i don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. we've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all Somebody wake me up I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd So I let go, let go I don't want to, but I'm gonna try When she left me, yeah, but a little bit inside You know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright I just wanna see the light I'm so sick of waiting And getting too restless to be in this dusty town I've heard of this place where People forget and you get another try
It's windy y'all, but I hope you can hear me. I just wanted to take you around and show you what we got done today. I still need to get these piles of just sticks and stuff. I've got a few more over there, but moved, moved this over here. <laughs> um, I cleaned a lot through here. Y'all saw just there was so much stuff. I'm going to put that door back. We also, we got our bed and the carpet and all of that on the trailer and the chair. So that's all good. I didn't get to any of this, <sighs> which is a big necessity. This shed we're getting rid of. So that's why we have to clean up everything. I'm going tomorrow to look at lawnmowers. Okay. Aaron's getting rid of all of these lawnmowers. All of them. He's tired of fooling with them. There's four of them. He's getting rid of them. Hi, Mama. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? They're ready to eat. So am I. I've been out here all day long. Here's our kayaks. All of this is, well, like I said, I didn't get over there, but I picked up all through here. We'll get to more of it and I'll rake this too. Maybe I'll save that for, maybe I'll start doing this more tomorrow too, if it feels good. Y'all, I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Those are all cans. Here's the bag that I had already filled up when we got back from doing the trash. We already took a truckload. There's the other bag. This has all got to come off because this is getting replaced. This, this side. We already replaced the other side that's lighter over there. There's a bunch of scrap metal in here. All of this is scrap metal. This... And then that is a mirror. All that's got to go. I, all of this came out of the yard. It, it wasn't already on the porch. Okay, what else? I love how clear it is through there now. Oh, so this, I've still got more to do, but I'm going to stop. <laughs> because I've probably been out here for three hours. Um... And the sun's, y'all can tell it's getting darker. Um, this is where the bed and the carpet was. So I'm so glad that we got that onto the trailer. Because, y'all know I want to do some landscaping this year. And I can do some all around here. I got my mats drying. I've already got some bricks. Um, we really need to get that carpet from out from under there but we cleaned right there and we needed we needed right here Aaron wants me to get him a I don't know what he was saying maybe like an electric saw I don't know anyway something to get all of this cut down because we don't want it here and I have more of those stones going all the way across so we would do some gardening right there as well. He weed eat it under there and around my rose bush, which looks so pretty. We picked up all the uh, pieces I had cut off when I cut it back. And y'all are so right. This is the prettiest I've ever seen it. So beautiful. And then he weed eat it around this too. So here's my, I've got two piles. One right there and one right there. So what I'm going to do as we wrap up here is, I sound just like my mother. 
<laughs> I love it. Okay. I think I kind of mimic her in a way. Um, I'm going to put all of this. If you know, you know why. Um, I'm going to put all this in the truck bed because it's plastic. That way I can get all of those sticks and stuff in here. That way my girls aren't going to step on them. I just stepped outside. I'm so glad I can actually show you all my backyard and not feel like totally bad. Because <laughs> um, I feel like I'm always hiding sections of it from y'all. But um, that's just what our yard looks like. So it's fine now. We got it all cleaned up. Well, we're starting to anyways. This is episode one, I guess, of this series. Okay. I don't know why I'm like this, but if I see stuff, I'm going to pick it up. I saw another piece of wood. I'm going to stick it right there. A piece of wood right there, too. Okay. So, that's right. I'm going to take care of the plastic. It's right there. And I believe Aaron got this at Harbor Freight. This little cart right here. It's got a, lab a brand on it. I'll show you all in a second. Oh. He said I could get rid of all this. He's in a getting rid of mood. I was so proud of him. Because a lot of times it's me that wants to get rid of stuff and not him. Okay. Gorilla carts. It doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't, and I should let it be. But I'm gonna dive, dive into you, and maybe I'll drown, but what can I do? And it would be alright to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch, the room caught on fire We could blame it on the wine, but we know that we will both be lying I wish I did machine is kicking on i'm so red um all right y'all that is the end of this video i know if you made it this far you must have enjoyed it so thank you for sticking around this is probably a really long video it's been one of those days where i just don't even look at my phone i'm just like let's go <laughs> and one piece of trash or whatever after another <sighs> feeling good about the backyard excited that's we got to do the like non fun things first whenever if your yard looks like mine did um in order to be able to do the fun stuff which is planting flowers and having flower beds and stuff out there so can't wait to do that it is not even april yet so we have up until may um so we've got plenty of time to get the the yard knocked out so that we can get some flowers in the ground this year anyways subscribe if you're new like this video if you've been here and i will see y'all back here tomorrow for another one probably part two of what we did today 